This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Police are actively investigating the circumstances surrounding two overnight homicides here in the capital and are calling on the public to assist with their investigations. The shooting incidents occurring are hours apart. In the first shooting incident, according to police, it was shortly before 6 p.m. when a man had just dropped a female off at a residence on Hospital Lane near to John Road when he was approached by a male armed with a firearm who shot him before running away. The injured man was able to drive a short distance away before crashing into a tree. Initial reports indicated that a dark-colored right-hand drive car may have followed the victim and then shots were fired. EMS were called to the scene, however, their attempts to revive the man were unsuccessful. The second incident, some three hours later, led police to Prison Lane, Fort Fincastle. That's where police say a group of men were standing when a silver Nissan Tita pulled up, opened fire in their direction, hitting one of them before speeding away. Again, paramedics were called to the scene, but the victim was pronounced dead. Police are searching for the trigger men responsible. These homicides bring the murder count to three so far this year, after a man was shot and killed on New Year's evening in the area of 3rd Street, Coconut Grove, and Palm Tree Avenue. Investigations into these matters continue. In other crime news, operations officers of the Royal Bahamas Police Force making a discovery in bushes on Ida Street yesterday. Acting on information, the officers conducted search of a bushy area shortly after 1 p.m. and recovered a 9mm pistol with one round of ammunition and a bag containing suspected marijuana. No arrest was made in this incident and investigations are ongoing. Well, in 2020 and beyond, technology will continue to play a vital role in further reducing the level of crime here in the Bahamas. And that's according to National Security Minister Marvin Dames. As the Minister of National Security and the government continue to invest in the latest and greatest police technology and equipment. Last year, the government signed a $1.9 million contract with technology provider ShotSpotter in an effort to be able to detect and pinpoint the location of gunfire. Mr. Dame said to date, this technology has already detected more than 1,200 gunshots and has led to improving response time by the police. As a result of this technology, the police have also been able to save lives. One incident in particular where a lady was robbed, and the gunman, after having robbed that particular person, decided that they will fire a few shots off. That alerted the police, and that individual unfortunately encountered the police and met his demise. The National Security Minister added that in addition and contrary to criticisms, the shot spotter system has provided officers with a greater chance of identifying perpetrators and getting medical care to victims. The minister added that by the end of this month, the government will sign another contract for body cams for law enforcement officers after, signing, after having signed a contract of $5.9 million for an additional 507 high-quality cameras in October last year. This month, is a, it is anticipated that the government will sign the contract for $693,000 initially with a global leader to provide the police force with more on cameras as well as dash cam cameras. The introduction of these new police technologies will push officers to perform at an even higher level of accountability and transparency also protect them from the malicious complaints during police citizens encounters. Further, it will necessitate the strength of customer service ethics and professionalism and training. Of the 507 cameras, 100 cameras will come equipped with license plate recognition capabilities, 100 with facial recognition capabilities, and 120 with pan tilt capabilities. Mr. Dame says that it's not business as usual as the Royal Bahamas Police Force continues its fight against crime, guided by the manpower audit, as he says the police force is being modernized and restructured. Our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.